to extract the mirror out of the middle. I'm pretty sure you want to bring the half right at the smallest point, right? So, okay, go ahead and uh, take a couple wax at it. Now, this is a PetSmart bone, so I don't know how old this one is. The one this morning was not real green, but... Okay, so look at what you did there. It's got a couple marks in it, right? Now, if you continue chopping that with that hand axe, would you really be able to get all that marrow that's inside of there? No. No. You want to you want to do it longitudinally, right? You want to somehow break it longitudinally. Now, like a few of y'all said to start out, use the hard hammer, right? Use one of those uh, round stones there, whichever one you think is best. So now, if you give it a couple. Like, out of these three? Yeah, whichever one you want. So if you give it a good... Yes. There you go. Okay, now pick it up and look at it. Okay, now you just hit it one time real hard, right? Mm -hmm. But look what you also did to the rest of the bone. I cracked it. You cracked the whole thing, so can you pull it apart now? Probably not. No. So give it one more whack on the other end. Oh. There you go. Okay, now pick those bones up and look at them. So you're able to get a lot of the mirror out of the middle, right? Mm -hmm. What do you notice about that fracture? Does it look kind of weird to you? No. No, it doesn't? Weird how so. Well, think about it. She was hitting it right in the middle, but it fractured longitudinally, right? Mm -hmm. So the way the bone broke, that's called a spiral fracture. So pick up the pieces, those two middle pieces that you have, and, and try and put them back together. You see how it kind of spirals and kind of moves in a spiral? Oh, yeah. Yeah, you see that? So paleoanthropologists and Arctic, well, you can come up and pick it up if you want to check it out, um, have looked at patterns of breakage in bones from a long time ago, and you see this same type of spiral fracture happening over and over and over again. So people are probably using a hard hammer and cracking the bone, and you get it done real quick. You take the marrow, and you're on your merry way. And we want to disarticulate it pretty quickly. What would be the best tool to start out with if we want to take some of these ribs away? Something pointy or something sharp, sharp right? So if you want to get in between those ribs, what, what tool would you use? That one. That one. The obsidian. Everybody goes for the obsidian. Okay, now I want you guys to be real careful with this. You can like assist him and hold it up for him, and he's going to cut the ribs. And uh, you'll see how quickly it works, but it, as easily it can go through these ribs, it can also put those gloves. So just be super careful with it, okay? Don't cut me. Don't, <laughs> don't cut her. <laughs> if you think you can handle it on your own, go ahead and try it. Just grab it. Yeah, just do whatever fills. Now, now don't hack at it. You're going to hack blood on me. There you go. Oh, so wow. easy. See how quick sharp that is? Nice. See how sharp that is? Very, very easy. Um... <laughs> no, no, that's uh, pretty tough. You can actually work it pretty good with that. It takes longer to heal with obsidian scalpel, doesn't it? Well, with obsidian, actually, uh, there have been studies uh, where they've made wounds with the scalpel versus obsidian, and obsidian will heal about three to five times faster, a, a cut from obsidian. There have been times when I've been flint napping and uh, little flakes will get into the, the uh, parts of my finger and it'll make little cuts, and I really don't even realize it until, like, I'm drinking tea later with my wife or something, and I'll go to squeeze a lemon in my tea, and like my hands are on fire. <laughs> so what do you think? This is awesome. Go ahead and try another one. Do you want to try one? Yeah. Okay. But but be careful with that thing. One. Like, can I use this one? Yeah, you can try any one you want. <laughs> so you might want to use, like, this is probably going to be the sharpest edge right here. Okay. Will you get mad if it breaks off? It won't no, break no, off. I won't be mad. Is it coming out good? Yeah. <laughs> so that's chert that you're using there, and that's a pretty sharp flake too. Is it getting it done? Yeah, it's like slimy. There's like bone back here. Usually happens with you. There you go. <laughs> like you don't like ribs. Right? I don't like them that are cooked. <laughs>
So you're going to eat this for dinner? My dog's been eating good for the next four or five days. <laughs> <laughs> She's going to have two, two racks of ribs now. You want to try another one? Yeah. Try that basalt one on there. Yeah, the one you're about to grab. That's a good one. Does anybody else want to try? Yeah. You want to try? Besides her, there's one of their gloves. I'll try. So what do y'all think? We should do this tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> I don't have 20 bucks to spend every class. Every week? Now, <laughs> now think about it. Would you want to crack these ribs open? Do you think there's a lot of marrow in them? No. Compared to the long bone? No. No, you, you probably wouldn't be taking the ribs with you very often. Uh, you can actually have somebody try and crack one of them open here in a minute if you want. You can see that uh, compared to long bone, there's much, much more marrow in the long bone. You can see the marrow from this side. Can you? It's like a real dark red and it's kind of spongy. With the long bone marrow, sometimes when you crack it open, it'll come out in a nice long, thick strip and just uh, packed with calories and uh, fat. Yeah, it's tenderized now. <laughs> okay, I don't want to throw it on the barbecue pit now. Now watch this. Try something different. Take this. Take that and put it underneath the bone. Now you can do it. And now take the other rock. Hit it on the bone side. Flip it, flip it the other way. This way? The other way. Like, there like that. Go. There you go. Now when you hit one end, it's going to give it a little bit more force. Yeah. There you go. It's, it's probably broke. It's probably just a lot of the sinew holding it together. Kind of. Did, you, did something hit you? Did you like send it? Did something hit you? Yeah. Here's some uh, hand sanitizer oh, stuff. 